Hey guys, Mark Lyon here, Lion Horses. Today I got a little trailer information for you and uh, this may be helpful to some of you, others not so much, but anyway, just some ideas that you guys might uh, use when you're picking out your next trailer. So anyway, uh, storage is at a premium in a horse trailer and so it, the more storage you can have, it's, it's way better. You never, seems like you never can have enough storage. And so one of the things that people have done to kind of accommodate that is they add a hay pod or a roof rack to the trailer. Now, those are some of the best ideas and also the worst uh, that I've ever come across in, in trailer manufacturing. So uh, hopefully they will amend that uh, process very soon uh, because they are fairly difficult to unload and really difficult to load. And so you put stuff up there that Frankly, you're probably not going to need very much or and at the very least is not breakable because uh, really the, the About the only way to get it down is just to toss it off there And so they put hay and a lot of people put blankets and buckets and stuff up there But in order to store anything up there that you know is, is you don't want broken when you load it or unload it is to You know put it somewhere where you don't have to toss it off the stinking balcony so they're difficult to get stuff in and out of. And so there, normally there's a ladder that goes up the side of the trailer and you can hoist stuff up there. Um, to get stuff up there, of course, if you have a front end loader or skid loader or some sort of um, loader attachment, you can load it full of hay and then to get it off, you just toss it over the side, which that's what the majority of people use it for. But like I say, it's, it's not exactly convenient. So when I built my trailer, that was one thing that I wanted to remedy. And how I did that is I put, uh, the, in fact, the whole horse area has got a hay pot above it, but it's integrated into the horse area. So uh, right above this ceiling is two and a half foot of, of storage space. And it's got a roll top tarp that goes over the top. And that way I can, if I have a loader handy and I want to load it with, with that, I can just roll that tarp back uh, and then load it with a, with a loader. And then if I don't want to do that, um, maybe it's inclement weather outside or um, maybe I just don't have a loader handy or I'm going to unload it, I can access it from inside. So there is a hatch that goes from my living quarters into that for, and I keep stuff around there that I'm going to use um, some extra storage or whatever for something that needs to be accessible from inside. And then the hatch for in here is right here. So there's a... hatch opens up into the ceiling um, like I say I normally keep totes and 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 stuff up in here uh, a lot of times most of the stuff I'm going to use uh, that I need to access very regularly is right around this hatch area and then farther back I put stuff that I'm not going to need as much but the nice thing is is it's really easy to get to uh, what I have is a little ladder here just set that there And it's, you know, a couple steps up here. Now I can access whatever I need. So I'll get my totes or whatever I need up here, pull it off, come down. Uh, if I need to load hay or totes up in there, I can actually set them up in there without even having to, to get on the ladder. So the nice thing is, is it's, 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 it's short enough that you can just reach up there and throw your hay or whatever up into that up in that storage area so it makes it really nice really easy to to access it which like i say for the for the hay pod the roof rack situation accessing it is is for me one of the biggest biggest problems it's it's difficult to get stuff up there and to get it down and like i say i've got uh, almost three feet of storage space up there that's the size of the the horse area which is uh, almost 20 feet so 20 feet by eight and a half foot wide by three foot tall. It's a, it's a lot of storage area. Like you can really store some stuff up there and it's very easy to access, uh, whether it's putting up or putting down without a loader. So anyway, just one of those things that uh, I added to my trailer when I, when I designed it and built it. And like I say, I hopefully uh, some of the trailer manufacturers will start, uh, maybe, maybe they'll see this and, 
and uh, copy it. And uh, if you guys are looking for some for some suggestions, maybe you can suggest that to them or order it uh, like that for you. So anyway, uh, remember we're all trying to be the person our verse deserves and hope this tip helps. Thank <laughs> you.